Um, Shan, <clears throat> do you think, and I know, that, I know that the judge had said in court today, that I want to make sure I get her words right, that when it comes to her, the sentence that she is going to be imposing today, it cannot be a review or revision of what's happening in another court. I totally understand the judge saying that. But do you think that what happened last week has any kind of an, Im in terms of his sentence last week, that surprised some, that it wasn't longer? Do you think there's a, it can have an impact on this week? Uh, it can, but uh, I think the only real impact it's going to have on this judge, the way she thinks, is this question that Elliot alluded to, which is the concurrent, what part of it will be concurrent. Uh, mm. She, I mean, there's a lot of speculation about what she's going to do, a lot of wishful thinking, too. You know, she is not going to be some sort of avenger who is making up for what happened in the other courtroom. That's not the kind of judge she is at all. She's going to focus on what's in front of her here, and she's going to punish him for what he pled guilty to here, as well as the other problems that he created for himself. So I, I agree, I, he, she is going to uh, put some more time on it. It's not going to be 100% concurrent, but it's certainly, I, I would be really shocked if she were to go to the max and run it consecutive. I just don't think that's going to happen.